challenging time for me and my family. As your governor, I also know that it was also a difficult time for you. I am fully aware of the fact that you all interceded on my behalf. You all cried to God and he had your prayers and restored me to fullness of health. I am happy to report to you that I am in good health and strength. Your unending flow of good dream messages and regular intercessions were catalysts to my recovery. Let me specifically acknowledge the statesmanship of the Deputy Governor of Ada State, Right Honorable Deo Kochuku, and his wife. He held the fort in my absence and ensured that peace reigned throughout the period. I am particularly thrilled by the fact that Ada State has remained one of the most politically stable states in Nigeria and we give God all the glory. The event of this health challenge has left me without words or means to appreciate all those who interceded, both spiritually and physically on my behalf, to ensure my speedy recovery. The outpouring of love and emotional investment in me are quite disarming. I shall remain indebted and eternally grateful to our dear President and Commander-in-Chief, the Vice President and members of the National Economic Council. How can I forget the support I received from my colleagues in the Nigeria Governors Forum? Under the able leadership of Governor Kayode Faemi, the jewel in the park, Governor David Umahi, will remain a true brother and friend. I'm grateful to members of the National Assembly, especially those from Abia State, for their sustained love and solidarity. The Honorable Speaker and members of the State of the Assembly, members of the State Executive Council, and all our leaders at all levels, leaders and members of various religious organizations, our traditional rulers, India Abia State Elders Council, members of the Abia State Advisory Council, political leaders from across party lines, Umunemli Le, Nda Fondembo, Lune Melao, Wenluna Kolamta, Mobechi, Ndekani, Iriri Wande, Tulis Bogulubu, Nda Abia Ndeo Maya Gazier, Odelama, Naha Jesus. If there's one message you must take home, from this, it is the fact that the reality of COVID-19 is beyond this state. My fellow Abians, COVID-19 is not only real, but has the capacity to kill and destroy our lives, if not properly managed and attended to. At the same time, we must understand that contracting this disease is not a death sentence. What it requires is that all necessary steps be taken, ranging from early diagnosis and treatment to ensure that it doesn't escalate. 
But at this time, the most important point to note is that all of us must take individual responsibility for our health and those of our family members, especially the vulnerable ones among us. More than ever before, we must take very seriously all the preventive protocols as advised by NCDC and other relevant government health agencies. On our part as government, we will leave no stone unturned in the fight against COVID-19. I pledge the strong commitment of my administration to this fight. Right from the initial outbreak of this pandemic, we have done a lot of work to strengthen and support our existing facilities as well as ensure the upgrade of the necessary ones. At the outbreak of COVID-19, Abia State did not have a molecular laboratory anywhere in the state, and we had to take samples from our people to other states. Undertaking such a excruciating journey at a time when life is on the line made me take a decision to put an end to that cycle. Today, I am happy to inform you that the molecular laboratory we ordered from abroad has since arrived and has been up and running for some weeks now. With this facility in place, our people are now free to present themselves for the test, and I urge everyone to take advantage of this window. The global community is in agreement that life cannot end because of this pandemic. This is why, after the initial global lockdowns, life is gradually returning to normal. Trade and commerce are resuming slowly on a global scale. Lockdowns have been scaled down considerably and markets opened. Here in Abia, we are re responding to the global and national trend. To a large extent, we have allowed our people to resume economic activities. Religious activities have also resumed. We are also taking all issues into consideration as it relates to the opening of schools. Our major concern is the health and safety of our children. In all of this, however, we must realize that COVID-19 remains a potent threat. We must not let our guards down at any point. The risk level remains high, and I want to personally appeal to our religious leaders and leaders of our various markets to rise to the challenge of carrying this message to our churches, mosques, and markets. We must all embrace the new ways of living. We must wear face masks at all times we are outside our homes. We must form the habit of regular use of hand sanitizers and generally take personal charge of our hygiene. Fellow Abians, you would have noticed that even as the pandemic is raging, our government has kept on with the reconstruction works on some of our roads in Aba and Domwai. The phase two of our barrow project in Domwai has commenced and the results are visible. Our plan is to push the project down to the overclass junction of the Enugu Port Highway to provide seamless and dualized entry into our capital from that flank. Just as we have it from Abia Tower flank, what of note here is that seemingly intractable stretch of bad road from our free bridge to Uchenna Junction all along our road have been fixed using our popular rigid cement pavement technology. I am sure that we will not forget in a hurry how it was a few years ago. In Aba, several road projects are on and a number of construction sites remain active even in the middle of the pandemic. Work is proceeding steadily on our flyover project at Osioma, and immediately after the rains, one of the most critical aspects of that project, which is the mega sign filling of the risers, will be done. This very important aspect cannot be done under the rains, and I am confident that by December 2020, we will be almost ready to commission our first ever traffic interchange in other states. Our resolve to construct new drainages that will stand the test of time have remained on course. Flooding on Abowere Road is gradually becoming a thing of the past with the massive investments we are making on the drainage systems on that road. We are determined to complete the work on those drainages this year. Today, Osusu Road has been completed using the rigid pavement technology. We will commence the last stage of asphalt in once the rain recedes. This road will have a last part of at least 20 years. Here again, I am sure that we will not forget how Osusu Road was just a few years ago. Same rigid pavement technology is ongoing along the Barclay Road, Omongase, a gate the road over here, which used to be an eyesore on account of years of erosion, has come back to life. Obikabia is an emerging spectacle in infrastructural aesthetics 
and will be our standard of beautification of nature and about in our district going forward. In addition, the dualization of Muruduka remains on course. Please be assured that we are fully committed to the completion of these projects. To the glory of God, a new lease of life is coming into our community through the intervention of our administration and new map. Palliative work has already commenced on Oboe Herald, a diversion to pave way for the major drainage works on Oboe Road, on Hancock, Orata, and Potakot Roads. As part of our samples for COVID-19, this administration is committed to the delivery of an ultra-modern hospital in Abia, with state-of-the-art diagnostic facilities, surgery slash organ transplant capabilities, with potentials to reverse medical tourism. Similarly, all the three retired zones in Abia will have at least two well-equipped general hospitals each. By the end of 2021, we would have created a platform that will repatriate the expertise of Abia medical practitioners in the diaspora, who rank among the best on global ranking. Common name Dabia, this broadcast is my way of informing you that your governor is back on his feet and back to work. It is my own way of to reassure you that the grace of God, which has led me all my life, remains alive in me. It is my own way of to tell you that your prayers concerning me were answered by God. Permit me to say that this song of gratitude shall continue for a long time to come until I pass with my heart. Finally, it is my own way to reaffirm my avowed commitment to serve you with all my heart and strength and with a new vigor. I shall remain committed to discharging the mandate you freely gave me and I won't stop until my very last day in office. We may not solve all the problems we have in Abia, but we will surely live a bit better than we met it and hand over a state that is more economically viable, infrastructurally updated and generally a state that is far better when viewed from all available agencies of the government. Thank you very much and may God bless you all and bless our dear state and Thank you. Allah Agosiri Obodo Chukuta Biabu Obodo Ayana Oraka Setimbu Ekele Aigaru Sarike Ibu Dimbu Abia Gadiuku Ebebebe Ugobere Ibebe Ukechuku Cause yeah, yeah.